All right. A uh, doubleheader sweep. What stood out to me were two things. Let's take them separately. One, I thought, terrific pitching. The other thing I thought was timely hitting. So let's start with the pitching. Uh, Toy Fair in the first game, just terrific. He set the tone. I mean, he's a senior. He got the home opener. Um, he did what you know he's been doing all year, and he came out and set the tone, throwing strikes, getting ahead of hitters, locating his fastball. And uh, when he can do that, he's very, very tough. And he's he started that. He had two good innings at Pierce this weekend. We put, brought him out of the pen and did the same thing. So uh, he set the tone for the day. And uh, as a senior, uh, you know, we expect that out of him. I think he got in trouble once, and when he got in trouble, really bore down and got out. He did. You know, his fastball, like, he was moving in and out, up and down, and, you know, it just makes the slider that much more effective. And, uh, you know, six strikeouts, no walks, he'll take that out of any one of your pitchers. And uh, he was really good, had a lot of life on his fastball, a lot of movement on his two-seamer, and, you know, he really set hitters up pretty good today. Yeah, I was going to say, first game, Slovin came in and finished it off. Uh, he had a strikeout. Pitchers in the first game did not walk a batter. No, I mean, that's, you know, that's what it takes. You got to win games, you got to, you know, you got to limit the amount of free passes, hit batters, walks, and, uh, you know, stay within the strike zone and make guys put, put uh, the ball in play. And if we can do that and make plays on defense, we're going to be pretty good. Second game, um, on Calzetta started. Thought he looked good, thought he looked solid, and then he went to the bullpen, and everybody he brought in got the job done. Everybody did, you know, and again, it all started with Toy Fair. We, you know, getting Calzetta some you know, five innings of uh, of work today after struggling in the bullpen at the beginning of the year. will do nothing but good things for our whole staff and for the confidence for him, and now we need him if we're going to have success this season. Then I uh, then talk about the time of hitting here. It just seemed like everybody went up with a plan. Everybody uh, went up with good at-bats. We had sacrifice flies when we needed them. Uh, we had just well-hit singles. I mean, it just looked like everybody went up there just make good, solid contact, have good at-bats. Yeah, we did. You know, in the first game, the kid was uh, not throwing very hard. He was, you had to be patient, uh, get your pitch. And I think as soon as we scored a couple of runs, it took the pressure off a little bit, and guys started relaxing and, and staying within themselves. I thought we tried to do too much early, uh, including in that first inning. But once we relaxed, uh, I think, you know, uh, everybody really had some had, – they did. They, they went up there with a plan, and uh, they executed that plan. And, uh, you know, the result was uh, getting a bunch of hits today. Matt Sanchez had a triple in each game. I think he had a sacrifice fly in the first game and a sacrifice fly in the second game. I know he's not a guy that grabs headlines, but boy, he was a, in a lot of ways your consummate ball player today. He's a good baseball player. You know, he's a guy that hits down in the order but puts together great at bats. And you know, as we were saying earlier, he's you know not, his average isn't great, but he's hit probably one of the more unlucky hitters we've had. But he executes. He moves runners along when we need to. You know, we need to get a sack fly. We need to get a ball in there. He's going to do that. And he does. You know, plays pretty good defense. Made a good throw there in the ninth. So. Um, uh, he's a very good baseball player. And you go back at it tomorrow uh, down at Stonehill. Yeah, you know, uh, it's going to be a battle down there. It always is, and uh, we're looking forward to the challenge. Okay, Coach, thank you. All right, thanks. All right, uh, yeah, uh, terrific outing. I think you went eight innings, didn't walk anybody, struck out six. Um, what was working for you today? Uh, just location, locating the fastball, being able to get ahead of hitters and throw the slider for strikes when I needed to. Looked like you had a lot of confidence. A lot of confidence. I threw really well against Franklin Pierce, so coming into this game, felt good. I know I just one inning you got in a little bit of trouble, and it's kind of like, okay, you uh, took a deep breath, bore down, and then just kind of said, all right, back to work, and got the job done. You got to change the pace of the game up if uh, things are going out of line. You got to take a deep breath, like you said, and uh, just get back in the groove. I was going to say, uh, you talk about location. Um, didn't walk anybody. Is that the number that... that is most important to you? Yeah, last uh, last year, every one of my starts, I walked probably at least three people. So that's this is the first time I've ever walked anybody. It, it shows because I'm able to go eight innings, not be over 100 pitches. It's good. Did you, did you try to plead a case to get the, get the ninth inning for your uh, to see if you get the complete game or it's no? It's coach's decision. <laughs> all right. You went to Slovin, so it's all good. All right. Thank yeah, you. Matt Sanchez. Um, a couple of triples, a couple of sacrifice flies. I think he had another base hit in the first game as well. Take me through your approach to an at-bat. Well, when there's a runner in scoring position, I'm just trying to get him in, sack fly, whatever I can. See ball, hit ball? Yeah, pretty much. Keep yeah. it simple. Simplify the game in those situations. Yep. Uh, I think the first game, triple over the head of the center fielder. Did you yep. surprise yourself when that ball took off? A little bit. I mean, it's been windy all day, so I guess I just got it up in the wind. You have a lot of confidence in it? When yeah, I worked on some things before the game and it paid off. What sort of things? Uh, just timing. That's it. Pretty much. And, it, it, and, and obviously it did pay off. This team's yeah, got to feel did. good. I know you, you had the tough weekend up there in Ringe, New Hampshire. Yeah, we did. Get back with the double.
double header uh, sweep today. That's got to feel good. Feels good tomorrow. Play it again. All right.